Welcome back. Time enough for three points. Lang Whitaker, as always, start us off, sir. Thank you, Vince. You know, we talk all the time about that we're in the era of the point guard. Steve Nash, Chris Paul, Rondo, Westbrook. Last night, Darren Williams reminded us that he belongs firmly in that conversation of the best point guards in the NBA. Down in Charlotte, the uh, Nets managed to put up a win against the Bobcats, and Darren Williams went for 57 points. He also hit 21 of 21 from the free throw line. He had seven assists. Uh, basically, he said, I'm be I belong in this conversation of the best point guards in the league. The Nets are a team that's been playing for the future the last few years, moving to Brooklyn next season into their new arena. Lucky for them, Darren Williams is firmly in the present. Sherrod? Thanks, Lang. When you look throughout the NBA, every team seems to have, you know, that guy. The Lakers have Kobe <laughs> Bryant. As Lang just spoke about, the Nets, they've got Darren Williams. Oklahoma City with Kevin Durant. The list goes on and on. In Miami, they've got what you'd call those guys, as in LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. But hey, wait a second. They also have that other dude, Chris Bosh. And we've seen what this Miami Heat team looks like without Bosh. Plain and simple, LeBron James, he may be making another run at an MVP season. Dwayne Wade is still among the elite two guards in the NBA. But the chances for the Miami Heat to win a championship may come down to, you know, that other dude, Chris Bosh. DA? I'm going to talk about that guy in Miami, LeBron James. The human roar shot caused the Twitter world to explode again on Friday when James passed up a potential game-winning shot in Utah for a game-tying pass to Udonis Haslam, setting off another torrent of criticism from those that had just ripped James days before for passing up a game-tying shot in the All-Star game. Now, of course, this is not about how James plays at the end of the game. This is about the decision. And James's boast of multiple championships when he got to Miami and his outsized personality. I've criticized James for all three of those things on occasion, but all of us have got to move beyond the decision. James is going to be judged by one thing and one thing alone, how many championships he brings to Miami. The style points don't matter at all. Vince? Well said, gentlemen. That's going to do it for The Beat. I'm Vince Gelini. See you next week. So long.